let's talk about how to change object types and capacities. In capacities, everything is an object and every object has a type. But the type you choose at the point of creating your object, which is when you have to do it, might not actually serve you the whole way through um, using capacities. Now, um, this is an idea, sure, but let's say it actually becomes um, a reality and it turns into a project. And I no longer want this object to to therefore have all of the things I attribute to ideas and instead I wanted to have the things I attribute to projects. The mechanism of changing object types is very simple. You click on the label that is above every single object and you simply choose which object type you would now like it to be. Now the list that you have in here is the same list that you have here. The only things this won't be true for are things like images and PDFs because obviously they have different attributes. But for like text-based things, let's say, you've got a lot of flexibility and it will match what's here. So I'm just going to click project and this window pops up. It's looking at every property in my idea object type and comparing that to every property in my project object type. And it's trying to match them up. At first glance, we can see that there is a place for every single property to go, and that is good. That means that when I click change type, no information is going to be lost. It has simply been reassigned to be a project object. Obviously, the idea of the next three years being the task link, which is um, outdated, now we have task actions, but um, that obviously doesn't quite fit. But the point is the information has stayed with this object, which is what I wanted. Now I filled in some of the extra properties in the project object. If I want to readjust it and make it an idea again, and I go through the same process, you can see that there is not a place for all of this information to go. You can see that a lot of things are being bundled into the blocks, which this little icon means, so basically like the bit underneath the properties, but there are some things that have nowhere to go, and unless I open my idea object type settings and create a place for them to go, so for here I'd have to create um, a select property with the meeting object type, um, if I click change type, you can see that, that that information is lost. This window is quite important because it just makes you pause for a second and asks you to confirm that you have um, a place in the new object type for all of the information held within your current object type to go. Most of the time it will be like this where most things will go over or it's going to be easily fixable. Like here, all I would need to do is add a cover image property to the meeting object and everything would move over perfectly well. So keep that in mind if you are changing your object types. But if you do need to change one, it's very easy. You just want to look at this label up here and go from there. Let us know if you have any questions.